Hey everyone, my name is Ken Gracie. Over the next couple minutes, I'd like to show you, the educator, the top six resources for the ShieldBot with Arduino. Let's get started. The first most important resource is the ShieldBot robot kit itself. This is available as stock code 32335. It's also available without an Arduino as a conversion kit from the Bobot and most recently in the 12 pack plus kit for classrooms. This is your best value if you're a teacher and you wanna buy everything all at once. The 12 pack plus has 12 of everything. The shield bots, the ping with the servo and mounting brackets, line follower kits, infrared remote controls, extra component packs and refresher packs. When you visit the 12 pack plus page, you'll see we're often out of stock. If this is the case, we're having trouble keeping up with demand. You can submit a purchase order and we will fill it in the order it was received, or if you want to know when they're back in stock, click on the email wait list. The second most important resource are the tutorials themselves. When you buy 32335, the shield bought with Arduino, you get the 450 page printed tutorial. This has all the code, schematics, circuits, calculations for a pre-engineering course in middle school all the way through university. What I really like about this book is you can open it up, lay it flat, and then type the code while you're working in the Arduino editor or EDU code bender. And this prevents you from task switching between a web page and the programming tool. It's a much better way to keep your thought processes all aligned. If you don't want to use the printed version, you could use the HTML tutorials on learn.parallax.com. These are a slightly reduced version. When you go to the page, if you look on the left side, you'll see how all the chapters are listed out and you can click on them to navigate through one by one. Our third most important resource are the ShieldBot assessment materials. Each chapter has questions at the end and we have assessments the teacher can print out or hand out or bring into your own Canvas system for distribution. To access the educator resources, you'll need an educator login. You can request one by sending an email to learn at parallax.com. Once you've logged in, navigate over to the Educators menu option and click on Robotics for the BOE Shield for Arduino Educator Resources link. Next, scroll down to the bottom of the page where you'll find Assessment Material. You can download assessments as PDFs or RTF, so you can edit them yourself. We provide both formats to give you the most flexibility. This brings us to the fourth most important resource for the ShieldBot, the standards alignment. The 27 page standards alignment shows how the ShieldBot meets the following standards. Common Core English Language Arts, Common Core Math, Next Generation Science Standards, K-12 Computer Science Framework, and the Career Technology Education Standards, and the 21st Century Competencies. The fifth most important resource you need to know about is the Chromebook support. We are the only company that offers free EDU code bender support so your students can use the ShieldBot in a Chrome environment on Chromebooks. We have a special arrangement with CodeBender so you can do this for free. With CodeBender you now have complete support for Mac, Windows, and Chromebooks. To obtain a registration code good for the whole year, send an email to learn at parallax.com. There is no charge for this software. The sixth most important resource for the ShieldBot are the add-ons. The ShieldBot uses a robot base common to all Parallax robots, whether the processor is a propeller chip, basic stamp, Arduino, or a micro bit. The single chassis design has enabled us to create line followers, color sensors, ultrasonic sensors with servos, and most recently, the Pixie 2 camera, which allows you to use the ShieldBot for colored object tracking. Combine this with the gripper for some really impressive coding projects. These add-ons give you, the teacher, an easy way to scaffold the student learning. Thanks for tuning in for this short tutorial. 